Will robots take jobs? The case of Amazon announcing the use of a robotic arm for computerized tasks that jeopardizes the capacity of current employees has now become a serious case. And we need to know if the Amazon robotization and automation of workspaces is a good idea. But first, please like and subscribe to this channel and then sit back and relax. Will robots take jobs? The case of Amazon on Thursday, November 10, at a conference held in Boston, Massachusetts, Jeff Bezos' Amazon company announced the existence and use of Sparrow. The announcement was made between applause and gestures of surprise. Something became clear, technology is more advanced than ever. What's Sparrow? Sparrow is a mechanical arm that works with the use of artificial intelligence and can move heavy objects and label them safely without putting the worker at risk. It must be borne in mind that moving heavily loaded objects is an excessively difficult and risky task for an average person. Instead, Sparrow takes on the challenge through algorithmic and machine learning consisting of multiple cameras. In this way, you can identify objects stacked in a container and figure out how to lift them with your custom gripper. Amazon is testing the physical capabilities of Sparrow. The robot is at a facility in Texas and is currently sorting and sorting products for customer orders. According to Amazon, it manages to identify and order 65% of the more than 100 million items in its inventory. Fewer workers and more robots? Doubts were not long in making themselves felt. According to Insider, the prognosis that Sparrow presents for employees is not positive at all. Sparrow is the first robot of its kind that Amazon has revealed and has the potential to eradicate significant numbers when it comes to employees from the company's warehouses. But Amazon's official spokespersons have a different take on the matter. Ty Brady, the chief technologist at Amazon Robotics, says that while the reach is the most impressive thing about the robot, the employment debate is another matter and nothing negative about it. Brady said the role of robots is being misunderstood. It's humans and machines working together, not humans against machines. And if they can allow people to focus on higher level tasks, that's what's gained. Brett Daniels, an Amazon employee and Amazon Workers Union organizer had a more positive take on this. These robots collapse. A human, at the end of the day, is the one who will be repairing them when they stop working. The announcement of Sparrow is not something new. Amazon has been working on this type of computerized tool for years. It is worth noting that they acquired Kiva for $775 million in 2012 to finally become Amazon Robotics. What is new is the employment perspective that is doomed for the future. Jeff Bezos seems to have the same technological goals, or at least similar ones, to Elon Musk, who presented his humanoid robot not more than a few months ago, and is sure that the future of work will be very, very different from what we all know today for today. The rise of robots and the automation of workspaces. Robots are revolutionizing the world of work, extending to all major sectors. There are already companies that are benefiting from the disruption, but as more money is poured into automation, will the rise of robots create new job opportunities or put millions of people out of work forever? In case you didn't know, since the 1960s, machine automation has grown significantly. Additionally, the ways that robotics might enhance human lives have grown as a result of artificial intelligence. Even the most commonplace human interactions are increasingly being automated in recent years. Robots are currently employed as servers and cleaning workers in restaurants. As an illustration, certain Parisian restaurants use a unique recipe for automation. A pizza place where nothing is done by people. The hospitality industry has been going through an unprecedented global employment crisis since the COVID crisis. It has lost roughly 10% of its workforce in France. Could robots, therefore, be a remedy for this shortage? This future is evident in these Parisian eateries. A robot called Podsy prepares and serves up to 80 pizzas per hour without any human intervention. How? The order is placed at an automated terminal by the consumer, and the robot's articulated arms flatten the dough, spread the sauce, add the organic ingredients, and then put the pizza in the oven. A QR code is used for the collection. These cooking processes can be carried out by robots considerably more conveniently, swiftly, and effectively than by kitchen equipment. This is a benefit of robotics, which has already benefited all industries. 
There is no justification for not using it in the fast food industry, although this technology is expensive, about 300,000 euros. According to the founders, using robots will enable chefs to spend more on premium ingredients, a faster and more accessible automation. The service industry is one of the sectors that is experiencing a high degree of automation. The World Economic Forum projects that up to 85 million jobs could be displaced by 2025. But the organization also believes that automation will create more jobs than it eliminates. It predicts that 97 million new jobs will be needed at the same time. And as companies compete to stay ahead, global spending on robotics will hit $242 billion next year. The company at the forefront of automation is ABB. According to Mark Segura, president of ABB's robotics division, there are different causes behind the multiplication of robots in workspaces. We have to talk about two vectors. Electronic commerce has been one. The other has been that of the cobots and their drive to make robotics accessible. But for a larger number of companies, especially for small and medium-sized companies, because there are two things to reduce. One is the total cost of ownership and total cost of integration, and that calls for simpler, leaner robots that don't need a lot of ancillary equipment to perform certain tasks. So simpler robots with ease of use, accessible, and easy to deploy robots. This is happening. This will help many other companies to adopt robotics and take advantage of the benefits it brings. The human experience will never be automated. For the millions of people nervous about losing their jobs at the hands of robots, it's not all doom and gloom. Some experts believe that most of us humans will remain relevant for some time. Based on the conclusions made by many scientists, we're convinced that robots will not steal our jobs. Note that 85 million jobs will be displaced by a workforce shift between machines and humans, but 97 million jobs will also appear, and these are the new jobs, the jobs of tomorrow. We don't care that maybe the pizza is made by a robot in the kitchen, but the interaction with the Italian waiter that makes it feel like you're on vacation in Italy is not going to go away. So again, all this interaction, there is no risk of being automated because it is about our human experience and relying on robots and algorithms to complete tasks that don't require real people means that human skills can be better utilized in other ways. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, the subscription button, and the notification bell. To get notified when new videos are uploaded from this channel, please share your thoughts about the Amazon robotization and automation of workspaces. Will robots take jobs? in the world in the comment section below. Thank you.